Welcome to Better Living with Adrian. We're joined with Darren Campo, author of a great book, Alex Details Revolution, as well as a television executive. And we're talking today, though, about consumerism, the need that I see that people have to buy and consume and, and like, collect stuff. Now, the funny thing is, is Darren said, great, then I can make a TV show about it. But <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of shows about people who hoard things, and uh, there's a lot of shows about people who are buried alive under their stuff. That, so I guess you don't want to end up like that. No, well, you, okay. And, you know, and, and, and that's certainly an issue that we're not joking about. It, you know, we, that's the extreme. But, oh, my goodness, I see people, and you know it's a hot button for me, and they have to buy another cheap piece of crap or another decoration, another doorknob thing, a but thing you know for they the see? stair, it's because when it's, another it's, pillow. It's on sale. Oh, so it's, you buy two for five dollars, so they buy two. And and, to, and I say buy it. Why not? And, and here's why not. Okay, tree hugger. I'll tell you why not. Because. It, Consumption, when you buy that stuff that you don't need and you're not thoughtful about what you bring into your life, what does that equal? Waste. See, I think it equals the person at the store has a job, you pay for the bag, you pay for the packaging, the plant. Every dollar you spend has this ripple effect. So go buy the stuff that's on sale and if you don't like it, bring it back or give it to someone. Okay, so <laughs> fuel the economy. <laughs> that's Darren's take on it. Many times you're right. If you don't like it, return it, but that doesn't happen. And I guess what I'm saying is we spend time and energy decluttering our homes, our See, lives, our you're cars. You're right. I, I remember I was uh, staying with a friend once and I was using her shower and she had maybe a hundred bottles of shampoo and they all had this much left. Mm -hmm. And so when you, uh, if you went to grab one, they'd all fall down. So taking a shower took like an hour. Because you were picking up all yeah, these empty bottles. Yeah, I kept bottles. having to reset them up. Why do you need 50 different bottles of shampoo? And I love hair products. It's my favorite product to buy over and over and over again but you don't need as many and I guess it's a it's a thought where you think to yourself do I need this let me be thoughtful about it don't waste because then I'm gonna throw away I guess thinking it through and I mean you think about all of those bottles surrounding <laughs> everywhere with mold on them oh, oh you know that had to grow shit yeah out. you're right there are some things we just don't need that many of so Darren's take on it is go ahead go ahead and buy it indulge yourself but save don't the receipt. hoard these things and save the receipt because save the receipt you so you can back. satisfy Adrian's notion yeah. and that is return it or be thoughtful about it and don't buy it or at all or give it to someone Have, or give it to someone use what you need reduce the waste and that's better living to watch past segments or contact me, visit NBC40.net.